Hi, I'm Evan Webster with ApexTeamFitness.com. I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about working your chest and your triceps. Join with me here today, our fellow Apex Team members, Sean Rudolph. He's going to be demonstrating some of the lifts that we do today. Chris Gill, he's an Apex Team member. He's going to be focused more on the diet and nutrition way of things. And lastly, Dakota Vera. He's also going to be helping us demonstrate with lifts today. So, stay tuned. Now, let's get first exercise is going to be one of the cornerstones of working your chest. Everybody knows it as the bench press. Now, we're not working incline or decline today. We're working strictly in the flat bench to just get a feel for things. Now, you notice over here, we've already got everything set up. Sean's at the bench ready to do some work. Now, we're going to start out with our first set. We're doing a 4 by 12 which means we're doing four sets, 12 reps right. each. Let's get started. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, most important thing, you always want to have safeties just in case something happens that you don't really want to happen. And a spotter is always important also. Alright. Now he's going with a wider grip. Now the farther your hands go out, the more you end up working your chest. As you start to work your way into the bar, you're starting to work your triceps more. Now, your wide grip bench, lifts it off the safety with the help of the spotter. Now, you'll bring the bar down. You'll notice when he brings the bar down, his arms aren't flared out. You're down by his sides, about 45 degrees. Push this up, breathe. Down, up. Another thing to work on is proper breathing. When you get the bar in your hand, you go down, you want to take a breath. When you push up, you want to exhale. It'll keep the oxygen inside your body that you need in order to complete every breath. When you finish with your set, have your spotter pick the bar up. Put it back on the safe piece. All right, the next exercise we're going to work on today is the pec deck fly. This is a good exercise for working the inner part of your chest as well as your biceps and the part of your frontal delta. All right, so we're going to start off with a simple three by ten corner. Now, how can we do this exercise and get the most out of every rep? You cannot be bent at a 90 degree angle, and you can't be straight out. To get the most effect out of this and keep your shoulders from getting injured, you want to be at about a 45 degree angle. So, go ahead. He starts with his first rep. He remembers to breathe properly. When he comes to the top of the rep, he holds for a good contraction. And that's really about all there is to it. So finish up your set and we'll move on to the next exercise. The next exercise we're going to work on is incline dumbbell press. It's an alternative to using a bar because you have to use more of your core to stabilize it as you push the dumbbells up in the air. So let's get started. Now, he pushes up, and just like practicing the breathing techniques we did before, continue. We're doing a 4x12 with this. Now, when you go down, you want to take a breath. When you push up, you want to exhale. Because without having the proper oxygen amounts of your body, you won't be able to do as many reps as you could. You'll also get lightheaded, and in the weight room, being lightheaded is one thing you never want to be. He's going to finish his set. When he's done, the spot is going to help put the weights down. Now, I'm going to touch on this a little bit. Proper gym etiquette. You never want to throw the weights around and you always want to work at a diligent pace. If you throw the weights around and you bend them, you're going to be known as, well, basically the jerk of your gym. And no one wants that. Next exercise. The next exercise we're going to work on is cable crossover. this exercise, we're going to be doing four sets of 10 to 12 reps. All right, now Chris is finishing up with his set. He's got two more to go, but you get the gist of what we're talking about with the cable crossover. So, let's move on to the right. next exercise. The next exercise we're gonna work on is skull crushers. Now, this isn't so much a chest exercise as it is an exercise to work the meat of your triceps. And come on, everyone wants big arms. So, we're gonna start out with the bar, shoulder length apart, straight out in front of you. All right, now what he's gonna do is, he's gonna go down, Keep his elbows from moving at all. Stay at a 90 degree angle and then he's gonna push up. Good. Now, this part of your arm should not move anywhere. It should be a strict movement of this pivot right here. Here to here. Okay, so do it again. 90 degrees and up. One more. We're gonna do a three by 10 of this right, exercise. Set. The next exercise we're gonna work is gonna be a super set between Tricep dips and push-ups. So, here we go. He goes down. Now, when he goes down, squeeze his arms, going down to a 90 degree angle, pushing back up. When he goes up, he squeezes, get a contraction out of his tricep. All the way up. 
down, up. As he does 10 of these, he's gonna get down, he's gonna go over, he's gonna do 10 close grip push ups. Always making sure to maintain good breathing. Very diligent pace, you're not going too fast. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed Apex Team Fitness's first chest and tricep workout. Now, we're going to update it every few weeks to make sure you don't hit any plateaus and everything stays fresh. Until next time, I'd like you guys to meet the Apex Team Fitness team. Charlie, Chris Gale, Dakota Vera, and myself are going to be here to help you all through it. Have a nice day. See you next time. Wopan Gangnam Style.